Hey guys, <clears throat> been a bit. Here's my Steam Deck. I got the 64 gig model because it was the cheapest. And then I snagged this 256 M.2 drive. Make sure you get the right size for 15 bucks on eBay. So I'm going to take this and we're going to put it in this. Here we go. We got the back open. Wasn't too hard. Now I've got to remove this plate. Um, one thing I would recommend though is when you're you find it when you're taking this baby apart you want to remove the SSD card if you put one in because it will uh, I almost broke the screen doing or almost broke the case doing that I think it's somewhere down here right there so just be careful of that now we're going to pry this baby open and we're going to swap the SSDs and the back plate oops and the back plate is off now I just gotta pry loose this battery and the SSD is right here ready to be taken apart. Here we go. And that was not the battery. This was the battery. Battery's out. Time to take out the SSD. And the old SSD is out. Crappy EMC thingy. And the new one is in. Gonna reassemble the deck, and here we go. It's not too bad, just it's about, as you can see, a bunch of different screws, probably 10 different screws. Just gotta get this back plate on, and that's it. Here we go. Didn't go as smooth as I planned. I uh, accidentally put a screw in here, and the case won't close. So we gotta reopen it back up, and I'll show you that so you don't make that mistake. All right, so here's the mistake you don't want to do. I screwed that screw into the, or sorry, this one into the wrong hole. It shouldn't be there. It should actually be right there. And because of that, the case wouldn't close. And this seems like the kind of case that you don't want to open and close unless you have to. Or you might be finding yourself buying a replacement back plate, which isn't too bad, but not something you want to do. So we're going to fix this, and here we go. Deck is closed. That was a little bit of a pain in the ass. Try not, like I said, you don't want to open it more than you have to. Now I'm just gonna go get a bootable image of it. Put it in the um, put it in the micro SD slot, and we're off to the races. As you can see, um, we've got 225 gigabytes of space. Hard drive upgrade complete. Um, one of, like I said, the only real thing I want to say is uh, I'll link the other video I used. You want to follow the guide for updating the SSD with the flashed image. Um, and you want to make sure you don't mess up your, you don't screw the screws into the wrong hole. And you have to take the, pop the back off a few times. But other than that, it was pretty easy. I also linked the uh, drive I bought. So overall, I saved about 100 bucks. And, uh, you know, I like tearing stuff apart. So this was fun for me as well.